Rather Rade, today is Saturday, 4th May, 2024. New month, coincidentally, a new chapter here for our Bhagavad Gita study series. We got into chapter 9 today, so to present part of this recap video along with me, here is Mummy. Rade Rade. So I'll bring up the screen. You're going to see the cover slide come up and that we covered chapter 9, verse 1. One verse in itself with a fairly long commentary and lots to learn from it, as well as lots of participant experiences that we gathered from people today. But of course, that never happens till we get past the opening prayer for chapter nine, as well as the introduction. So you'll see that we had, of course, after the class prayer, as Mommy will talk us through, we will do the chapter nine opening prayer, then the verse, of course and then talk a little bit about the commentary. So, Mumi, I'll pass it over to you. Om Shri Paramatmane Namaha Atha Navamodhyayaha Rajavidya Yogaha Shri Bhagavanu Vacha Idam Tute Guyatamam Pravakshyamyana suyave Nyanam vignana sahitam Yajnyatva moksha se shubhat. So, yeah, chapter 9 again. We now see, in fact, through the opening prayer, Nafamodhyaya, so that's chapter 9, named, titled Raj Vidya Yoga. So, that's Raj Vidya Yoga which many of you can guess, and we saw it in class, Yoga Through the King of Sciences. Again, we'll encourage everybody to take a look at the introduction because that helps set the stage for what is to unfold in chapter nine. Always, of course, provides a good summary, but once we move past the introduction, things will be appearing one by one through the different verses. Chapter nine, verse one itself, the catchphrase, as we saw in class, was a question Private and confidential. We talked about letters, snail mail, etc. People got back in the day, perhaps. Here, it is something to ponder about. Is this private and confidential? And if so, for who or for who not? It is so that we saw also through the flyer, where all of you, of course, were fortunate to be part of some unveiling from this drawer of secrets that Sri Krishna provides to Arjun and then to us as well. The question to think about was, which trait should you not possess so that confidential knowledge can be imparted to you? And everyone was blessed to be able to learn in the non-confidential session, of course, coincidentally. So that trait that we should not possess, we now have learned, it is envy. We do not want to possess envy. We want to be not envious. And Mommy will explain through the Sanskrit words, of course, we saw the importance of this in addition to, as we had showed you in chapter 4, verse 3, long back, this same supreme secret Sri Krishna had unveiled, and that was because Arjun was Sri Krishna's friend and devotee. So now if you add to your notes, friend, devotee, and non-envious, not envious of Sri Krishna, that is what, as Swamiji says, makes Arjun eminently qualified to hear this supreme secret confidential knowledge and wisdom. Of course, we know this, so we did not spend a lot of time, of course, getting into details. We'll see that come up later in the chapter. But obviously, as you all can expect, that knowledge will help release everyone from the miseries of material existence. So we went through in detail, of course, Swamiji's you know, commentary here about people not having pride or envy. God needs nothing from us. We talked about also that little homework exercise, Atma Ram, Atma Creed. Hopefully some of you can explore where that comes from. And all that is done by God is out of compassion for us, out of welfare for us, our souls, who are tiny fragments of God. So we want to establish ourselves as qualified to hear this knowledge by not having any envy of God, by trusting and understanding that it is surrender and faith, not doubt, that will get us closer to attaining that union with God and knowing that God is not conceited. He doesn't need to. We're, we're too tiny fragments for even any kind of comparison or competition. So that's something that we all should understand clearly. So with that compassion, 
Sri Krishna helps convey all this confidential wisdom. And as Swamiji tells us, Mommy mentioned in class as well, the grammar here, Guya, secret knowledge, that was chapter two, analytical nature of the soul. Guya Tar, more secret, chapter seven and chapter eight, the knowledge of Sri Krishna's powers. And finally, Guya Tam, today and beyond, the most secret, pure bhakti. And in fact, what kind of bhakti? Unalloyed bhakti. Very quickly, I'll also remind everyone about the English words we covered. Again, we encourage you to take a look at their meanings, add them to your dictionaries, misconstrued, misinterpreted. We don't want to do that for Sri Krishna. Pantheon, the entire collection of all the deities of a culture, such as the Hindu culture in this case. Exalt, to praise, to put on a very lofty portal. Platform, unalloyed, important. Take away the un, the un, so alloy. Alloy, we know a mixture, such as steel, iron, carbon. Here, it is unalloyed, unadulterated, pure bhakti. Enabling us to get that goal of mystic union with God, which is via contemplation and self-surrender for that union and absorption with God. Couple more, profusely, we're going to hear a lot of examples and descriptions of Sri Krishna's glories, lavishly, profusely, but still just a minuscule portion of everything that his infinite powers and expanse has. And then magnanimous, Arjun is magnanimous in the sense that he's noble and courageous, but beyond that, it also means superior to jealousy, which connects well with free from the defect of envy. He's magnanimous, he's not jealous, he's not envious of Sri Krishna. That's why finally he is very, very elevated and eminently qualified for this wisdom. Mommy, I'll pass it over to you. Yeah, thank you, Gagan. So very important verse, uh, chapter 9, verse number 1. Krishna is going to give us the most confidential uh, knowledge, wisdom. Uh, and for that, he has put a qualification and that qualification is anasuya way. Anasuya way. Why? Because Arjun is anasuya way. He is non-envious. He is a friend at the same time, a great devotee of Sri Krishna and he is not envious of Sri Krishna. That is why Sri Krishna is going to show him his all glories and that is a very big qualification for all of us also to learn in our normal lives whereby we can slowly uh, grow on this uh, virtue that we kill this enemy which is residing inside us because becoming envious is very, very natural, very, very common and very, very natural. So we need to learn to how to become non-envious, but natural then more people will open themselves to us when they will feel so comfortable that we are not arrogant, we are not proud, and we are humble. That is when more people will open to us and we'll get more knowledge from everybody and more love from everybody. The way Arjun is getting all that love from Shri Krishna. So very important word here. Guhyatamam. Guhyatamam is the most confidential and anasuyave, that means non-envious. And then we learn the three um, uh, grammar words, basically, that is guhya. Guhya is secret knowledge. Guhyatar, that is more secret. And guhyatam, most secret. So the way we learned in English, good, better, best, same way we are learning the degrees and grammar of Sanskrit here. Guhya, Guhyatar, and Guhyatam. So basically very, very important words and more uh, we'll cover in the next week when we do the second verse. Over to you, Bhagan. Yeah, thank you, Mami. Once again, just everyone, encouragement to go through the introduction. Make sure you add to your dictionary when you visit that material, both in English and Sanskrit. I think we gave you two quick acronyms for the Sanskrit words Mami covered, GPA, MA. If that helps in any way, then keep that in mind. And with that, of course, we shall look forward to meeting you next week, same time, that Saturday, 11th May, 2024, 8 a.m. Central Time, 6.30 p.m. India Time. 
थैंक यू सो मच राधे 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 राधे